All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these multi-view drawings in Fusion 360 with a front view, a top view, a right side view, and an isometric view. So let's get started. I'm going to open up my Fusion. At this point, you should have your three-dimensional Fusion part built for the column and for the window block. Now again, don't worry about making them perfect. This, I know this notch can be a little tricky to line up just right, but um, as long as you're close, you're good. So let's start with the column. To create a multi-view drawing, we're gonna have to change. We're gonna get out of this three-dimensional world and go into the 2D world, two dimensions. So to do that, we're gonna go to File over here. Notice where my mouse is bouncing around. Drop down menu. We're going to go to New Drawing, which is right here, and then hover over that, and then you see From Design. Click there. All right, so now this new menu pops up. Some things we'll learn as we go throughout the year, but for now, what we care about is sheet size. This is the size paper that this drawing would print on. Uh, we don't want 17 by 11 right now, so drop it. A, we want sheet size A, eight and a half by 11. Click there and then hit OK. So it takes a few seconds to think sometimes, so be patient and wait until it gets to here. So yours might take a minute. All right, so now we're in the multi-view world. There's a sheet of paper and you notice there's a title block on the bottom of the page that has some information automatically filled in. We have this menu over here and you notice your part is kind of following your cursor around. That's good. What we're going to do is we're going to drop our front view right here. Click one time with the mouse. And now your cursor's free. There's your front view. Now if you didn't if it didn't come that way like where the the part was not really already connected to your cursor, you'll just go and click here and say base view and it'll pop on. If you're having trouble with that, let me know. But anyway, drop the first front view right there. Now we need our top view, our isometric, and our right side view. To do that, you're going to come click over here underneath the drawing menu. It says projected view. Click once. Now you're going to click on the parent view. See, it says select parent view. Here's your parent view. You're going to click one time, then just move your mouse. Don't hold the button down. Just click once and move. Top view. Click one time to drop it. Here we go again. Here's our right side view. Click one time, click, and it's dropped. Now pull up here and drop your isometric. Boom. Now hit the escape key and your cursor is free. And you can move things around a little bit if you, if you don't like the way the arrangement was. All right, so you've got your front, your top, and your right side view. Now notice the front view and the right side view are exactly the same. Uh, that's just because of the part we built is it's just the way it is. It won't always be that way. All right, and then one more thing I'd like you to do is double click on your isometric, double click. And that brings up this menu. We're gonna change it to shaded. That's the standard engineering method. Mine's blue, yours won't be blue, but that's okay. So there's your multi-view drawing of a column. You're gonna save it. Let me cancel that for a second. I want to show you something. You're going to hit save. And then uh, round column drawing. That looks good to me. It automatically filled that name in. Now, watch over here. See that little spinning wheel on your drawing right here? That means it's saving. Sometimes it takes a while. Give your stuff time to save or it will uh, not save and you'll lose it. Like I messed up with this one. I closed Fusion before it was done saving, and now it's kind of stuck in this spinning world forever. So when you save, click Save and give it a, a little while to make sure it really saves. Okay, so that's our multi-view of the column. Let's do the window block. Same process. So open your window block. There it is. So we're going to go to 
new drawing from design change the sheet size to eight and a half by eleven hit OK here's your sheet of paper now this is something I can show you now is scale see how it's one to one I feel like that's maybe a little small the window block there so let's change that so you can see how that works let's change it to two to one what that does is now it's twice the size two to one now let's see if we can fit that on there so here's my base view right my front view boom I go to projected I click on it I pull it up one click one click one click done double click on there shaded and you've created a professional multi-view drawing notice the hidden lines are showing up it's pretty cool does it for you let's I'm going to do the save thing again and I'll show you how it spins for a little bit so save window block IED activity one two three drawing that looks good automatic name is good enough hit save and let's see if it starts there it is it pops up see that blue wheel spinning right here give it a little while okay it's saved all right that's the um, multi-view for your window block and column reach out if you're having any trouble with that thank you